your man BG Tech Life, and today I got something special for y'all. We unboxing the iPhone 11 Pro, the Max version, and the iWatch Series 5. This is a uh, space gray to match the space gray uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Long name, I know, but hey, we're gonna deal with it. I'm excited. Got my space gray back, got a nice iWatch the Max Series 5. One expecting to get that, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, guys, let's get this unboxing popping. I'm gonna start off first with the iPhone. I know that's what y'all wanna see. This is the space gray. Everybody wanted the hundred grain, but I went with the space gray. I'm gonna set the iWatch, the Apple Watch to the back, should I say? And as you go, this is the box, and you're gonna get a box. There's gonna be a picture of the phone, the back of the phone on the top of the box. iPhone on the side, iPhone on the side, Apple logo on the top, and this is Verizon. Let's just take a look. 256 gigabytes. Uh, it includes. Okay, the phone, uh, AirPods with the lightning connector, U, uh, USB-C, the lightning cable, something different, the fast charge in the box, the USB-C power adapter, and you know this is a Verizon phone, CDMA, all that. So as you can see, now I don't need an unboxing that because I got a nice little tab going on. So the tab releases the plastic up. Blooper, but we're gonna keep it moving, as you can see. Nice little matte finish box, phone on the back. And I'm thinking, I, I seen videos, so when I release this, when I pull this top up, I should see the phone. Damn, there it is. iPhone looking very, I'm not even gonna lie, as ugly as I thought this thing was gonna be. Yo, I love, this matte, yo. I'm telling you, I love anything with a matte finish with gloss. Like, let's get that, let's get that space great goodness. I think a lot of people slept on the space gray. They jumped on that green. This space gray, where is that? You know what I mean? I got space gray uh, MacBook, iPad. So I get the phone back to space gray. It's tired of that gold. And there it is. Looking very nice. Very nice. And you got a nice pull tab. Pull it out. Boom. Here go the device. In hand, in my hands. First time. Put my hands on it. I didn't even get to sit at the Verizon store. It was so crazy in there. Went and picked it up this morning. As you can see, we got the triple camera set up, Apple logo, got a lightning adapter, of course. Nice, it uh, feels a little thicker and a little heftier than the, uh, the 10s. Definitely feel a little heftier, a little thicker. Nothing really changed out front, guys. I'm not even going to power it on. Nothing's changed out front. We still got that, uh, definitely still got that notch up top. But this back with this, I like this finish. I'm not even going to lie. Like this matte glass look, even though don't get it messed up. It looked like it might be almost aluminum, but it's definitely glass. And you definitely can break it. So definitely be careful with this device, guys. As you can see, we got those three shooters out back, the wide, the ultra wide, the telephoto. So, you know, we about to be shooting a lot of footage with this, taking a lot of pictures with this. I mean, it's a good look. And I think this kind of coordinates the back. It got that matte finish. Then you got the aluminum, uh, you got the aluminum housing and the the Apple logo, the aluminum housing and the glass around the cameras kind of coordinate if you if you catch my drift or whatever. But definitely very Apple fashion, you know, not nothing too crazy, too different. The camera setup is about the biggest thing going on. Guys, I'm recording with my iPhone 10s Max, so can't do a comparison right now, but I'm definitely gonna be bringing you that video also. Very good looking device. I set that to the side. So, okay, under the phone, you're gonna have Designed by Apple in California. And you're gonna have your books and stuff in here, things of that nature, you know, you know, the, you know how it go. And something new, got the Type-C adapter, cause you're getting a Type-C to lightning cable, so you're gonna get that fast charge out the box. So this is something I'll definitely be utilizing for my iPad also. Um, very nice, a little bigger, not that small little, you know, insignificant brick that we was getting before. 
little bigger, still white, you know, still very plain Jane looking, but very sophisticated and very glad that Apple put it in the box. So we get some fast chubs, and this is what it's gonna look like. It's a little fatter than the, uh, the original Apple adapters we was getting. And we getting our ear pods, of course. As you can see, boom, lightning cable, you know, lightning ear pods on deck. So you have some earbuds or some ear pods out the, uh, out the box or some earbuds to listen to or whatever. And last thing in the box, it's gonna be your, let's check it out. Type C to lightning cable for the fast charge. Now I wonder, but I mean still, we all know that these companies gotta these these companies gotta jump on this uh, immediately, making these cables more of these cables because you know this is not gonna last. This is still this is still you know Apple cables are the weakest link, so you know that's not gonna last. But that's everything that's in the box, guys. I show you a little bit more of the phone. Let me get a lower. Let me get over here to the mic so I can get me a nice little hold on. Using my blue. Yeah, real fancy. Let me see if y'all can hear this. I don't know. That wasn't really much not much must not be much glue on there. But um, yeah, guys, it's definitely a good looking device. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm not even gonna lie to you. These cameras look like BG Tech Life is gonna be stepping his game up. Cause you know I use them iPhones. They are my, the, the, my, I'm using my iPhone now as my favorite video camera. You know what I mean? Getting that 4K 60 frames per second on my 10S right now. That's what you're saying. So really dope look, really good look guys. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna step over to the iWatch and unbox that. I hope you guys get to see, you know, got to see what y'all wanted to see. I'm gonna go through the setup in another video. We're gonna unbox the iWatch Series 5. Okay, guys, in the same fashion, uh, the same box, okay, the same, okay, we got a tab, so I don't need an unboxing knife for this. As you can see, Apple Watch, boom, very dope, very clean box. You going, you know what I mean? Clean box is always a good thing. As you can see, we got the space gray aluminum case, black sports band, 44 uh, millimeter, okay, includes Band, charging cable, USB power adapter, and this is the LTE version. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this also. Go ahead, there it is. Okay, tab didn't go all the way, you know, didn't release the plastic like on the Apple Watch. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let me see, this box is a little different. Okay, boom, it's two tabs. There's a tab under here, so you just pull this. It'll, it opens up, opens up like so, like a Christmas gift. Wow, very nice, guys. This is very nice. Very uh, good presentation here with the band and the watch. And as you can see, the Apple Watch is on the inside. Move that to the side. Got the band and we have the watch. So you can see the space gray, the black, and the gray look. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up. Okay, so we got the watch right here, and then we have paperwork, I'm guessing. And under the, this is the paperwork, and under the paperwork reveals the uh, adapter, the uh, power cable, or the charging cable, you know, the charging dock or whatever, and the watch. Okay, that's a nice touch. I'm gonna move the box out the way. I got to see what y'all needed to see, and they got a really nice little, uh, case that the watch is in to keep it, you know, to keep it out of harm's way. And it says 44 millimeter uh, Apple watch on there. Very dope. Go ahead and pull it out. You see we got the red ring. Got this the LTE version. Not just the red dot. You see you got your sensor on the back. Nice aluminum build on it. Just a beautiful little, uh, piece of technology right here guys beautiful piece of technology right here um can't wait to really get this set up with the watch and things of that nature very nice very nice looking unbox the bands 
I don't get these bands up out of here. Bands are not as simple. Well, here we go. Actually, on the bands, boom. Got a little arrow right here. I was just being retarded. Release the little plastic, and you can open the bottom. Slide these out like so. And we get in here. Got uh, installation. You open it up. You got to, you know, it tells you how to install. And you got the large, mediums, and the, you know, you got the large, medium, and the small, medium. You know, I'm definitely a large guy. But that's, you know, that's even neither here nor there. These are just the bands. So, this is it. This is the setup right here, guys. Man, let me know what y'all think. That's really, that's looking pretty hot. Let me look at the back. The back of the Apple Watch is so, I mean, yeah, the Apple Watch is so dope, the back. It's the setup. That's how we doing it. How y'all think, you know what I mean? What do y'all think about this matte finish on the back of this iPhone? Very dope. Then I'm going to have it paired with the iWatch. Very dope. Um, it's your man, BG Tech Life, man. Follow me. I'm about to be the new Everything Apple Pro, guys. I mean, I'm very, I'm, I'm rarely excited about an iPhone. Rarely rushed to get one. Today was Apple Day. For some reason, I just felt it. This camera setup just, for some reason, I just love, because I love my, that's what I love about my 10, uh S Max, the cameras. And I needed to upgrade. My 10S Max is 64 gigs. I will never do that again. 256 gigs. Won't be getting a lot of footage on this thing. Gonna be really utilizing this thing for my channel. That's how I do it. You know, I haven't really upgraded the cameras yet. I just like doing what I do. It's your man, BG Tech Life. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, BG Tech Life. Follow me on Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.